Dear students, now we are going to solve important problem in Thevenin's theorem. Here the problem is to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for the given circuit. So this is the given circuit. We are going to find out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for this one. So we are going to find out the Thevenin's equivalent that is with the voltage source in series with an equivalent impedance. Okay, between the terminals A and B. So this circuit can be converted into this Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So we are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage and the Thevenin's resistance. Okay, this Thevenin's resistance is nothing but the equivalent resistance of this circuit. Do you all understand this one? So in the solution part, first we are going to find out the Thevenin's resistance. So for that we can simplify the circuit step by step. So in this given circuit, we can take this delta connection. So here we can take this delta connection A, B and this point is C. Okay. So simply we can take this delta connection and we are going to convert this delta into star transformation. So we are going to convert this delta to star and then substitute the star connection in the circuit for further simplification. Okay, so here we are going to take only this delta connection. So we can take A, B, C. A, B is 4 ohm and B, C is 10 ohm. A, C is 10 ohm. So this can be converted into star connection which is having A, B, C like this with the values R, A, R, B, R, C. So here we can use delta to star formula. Correct? So delta to star formula here Ra is equal to if you want to find out Ra we can take the product of this Rab and Rca. So we are going to take the product of Rab and Rca divided by the sum of all the resistors. So here we can take Rab is 4, Rca is 10 divided by the sum of 3 resistors 24. So here we can get 40 divided by 24. We get the answer as 1.6666. It is going on like that. We can simplify that as 1.670 ohm. So we can get Ra is 0.670 ohm. So next we are going to find out Rb. So Rb means we can simply multiply these two values. Okay. So here we can get. RAB into RBC divided by the sum of all resistance. Then we can get 4 into 10 divided by 24. That is equal to 40 by 24. Again, we can get the same value. Okay. So here RB is equal to what? 1.67 ohm. So next we are going to find out RC. What is the formula here? So here we can take these two values. Okay. Divided by the sum of all resistance. So here we can get RC is equal to RBC into RCA divided by the sum of all resistance, we can get the value as 4.17. Do you all understand this one? So here the delta is replaced with this star in the next step. Okay. In the next step, we can replace the delta connection with this star connection. So RA, RB, RC. Do you all understand this one? The delta is replaced with this star connection in this step. And these two are in series and these two are in series. So series means we can simply add these two values. So here 5 plus 4.17 is 9.17 ohm. Here the value is 1.67 plus 6 is 7.67. So this can be simplified like this. And next we are going to find out the equivalent resistance for the given circuit. Okay, so here we are going to find out the equivalent resistance between these two terminals. For that we can consider this 1.67 is in parallel with this 9.17. So this parallel combination is in series with this 7.67. Do you all understand the circuit? So this can be drawn like this. That is 1.67 is in parallel with 9.17. So here... This combination is in series with this 7.67. Do you all understand this one? So this is the overall resistance value here. 
So here we can take the equivalent resistance is equal to 1.67 in parallel with 9.17 plus 7.67. Then we can use the parallel formula that is 1.67 into 9.17 divided by the sum of these two plus 7.67. We can get the answer as 9.08 ohm. Okay. So now we have calculated the equivalent resistance for the given circuit. Next we are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage. Okay. So for this Thevenin's voltage we can use this simplified circuit. So here we can consider the voltage source. Simply consider the voltage source with this equivalent circuit. We are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage that is nothing but the voltage across the points. A and B. The voltage across these two points is nothing but the voltage drop across this resistor. So for that we have to find out the current through this resistor. Then we can multiply this current with this resistance value to get this Thevenin's voltage. You all understand this one? So simply we are going to apply KVL that is Kirchhoff's voltage law in this first loop. Then we can get the voltage rise is equal to the sum of voltage drops. So voltage rise is 50 volt is equal to the sum of voltage drops that is 1.67 I plus 9.17 I. Simply add these two values we can get 10.84 I is equal to 50. From this we can get the I value as 4.61 amps. Do you all understand this one? A means ampere. In the next step. We can simply multiply the current with the resistance between the terminals A and B. So current is 4.61 and the resistance value is 9.17. Then the Thevenin's voltage is 42.27 volt. So now we have calculated the Thevenin's resistance and Thevenin's voltage. Then the answer is Thevenin's equivalent circuit for the given circuit. So here the equivalent circuit is with the voltage in series with the resistance 9.08. So this is the final answer. Do you all understand this one?